skin is the defensive shield and canvas of our existence that expresses the secrets engraved in our genes. Ichthyosis is a unique challenge that illustrates the stories of rare beauties. Skin is a protective barrier yet delicate organ that can be easily breached by external or internal events, whether microorganisms or genetic disorders. Ichthyosis is a rare and enigmatic illness that causes scaling of the skin that shows a resemblance to fish. Several manifestations of ichthyosis are apparent, but it comes with similar discomfort and irritation. Let's understand this enigma to reveal the genetic causes and treatment of ichthyosis, a disorder where visible aspects narrate the story of willpower and inner strength. What is ichthyosis? Ichthyosis, known as fish scale disease, is an inherited condition exhibiting dry, thick, and scaly skin. There are more than 20 forms of ichthyosis, which can affect several areas of the human body, including arms, torso, face, legs, buttocks, ears, or the whole body. Ichthyosis commonly affects the skin, but other forms can also impact internal organs. The symptoms of dry, scaly skin are absent at the time of birth. However, they start appearing from childhood, usually from the age of three months to five years. Additionally, symptoms of ichthyosis can also develop at the adult stage or even later in life. There are several defined manifestations of ichthyosis, but ichthyosis vulgaris is the most common form among others, contributing to almost 95% of ichthyosis cases. General symptoms associated with almost all forms of ichthyosis include dry, thick, and scaly skin. As ichthyosis is a genetic disorder, it can only be inherited from parents to offspring. However, numerous other factors may also be responsible for this condition to occur. For instance, Acquired ichthyosis is a type of ichthyosis that develops after taking certain medications or due to other medical conditions. Acquired ichthyosis is a non-heritable form of ichthyosis. Types of ichthyosis There are five major types of ichthyosis, including ichthyosis vulgaris, lamellar ichthyosis, epidermolytic hyperkeratosis, congenital ichthyosiform erythroderma, and X-linked ichthyosis. However, Ichthyosis vulgaris will be the center of focus in this video. What happens in Ichthyosis vulgaris? Ichthyosis vulgaris, also known as Ichthyosis simplex, is the most commonly occurring form of ichthyosis. That's why it is also referred to as common ichthyosis. Our skin cells typically divide, and after completing their lifespan or due to any injury, they die and shed off from the skin's surface. The lifespan of the human skin cells is two to four weeks. After this, skin cells die and are replaced by new skin cells or layers. During this process, old or dead skin cells must be removed from the skin surface to accommodate new ones. However, in the case of ichthyosis vulgaris, rather than falling off the skin surface, the dead skin cells start accumulating on the skin surface, causing the formation of scales, giving a scaly and thick skin appearance. In short, the new cells are being produced regularly, and dead cells are not shedding, which is what basically happens in ichthyosis vulgaris. Prickly itch is among one of the most common conditions associated with ichthyosis vulgaris. Sweat prevents overheating of the body. However, thick scales in patients with ichthyosis vulgaris might block skin pores, thus minimizing the sweating that leads to excessive itching due to overheating. Ichthyosis vulgaris is not a life-threatening condition and symptoms usually fade away with age. However, sometimes this skin disorder may lead to worse illnesses like testicular cancer and abnormal sperm count in males. Individuals taking certain medications like cimetidine, pofosamine, and nicotinic acid are also reported to develop acquired ichthyosis vulgaris. Similarly, other medical conditions like sarcoidosis, leprosy, some cancers, underactive thyroid gland, and kidney failures also tend to cause acquired ichthyosis vulgaris in those patients. Almost 50% of individuals with ichthyosis vulgaris also develop other skin conditions like eczema, asthma, and other allergies. What are the reasons behind ichthyosis vulgaris? Each human cell contains DNA as its genetic material, which holds information hubs in the form of genes. For instance, there are specific genes for eyes, skin, hair colors, or height and the tendency to develop certain diseases. All data are stored on genes. Genes then pass down from parents to offspring, carrying vital information for the normal functioning of the human body, giving distinct physical and biological traits. Each gene codes for a specific protein responsible for sustaining a particular function. Somehow, genes are prone to mutations, which means that the structure or sequence of the genes can be changed through internal or external factors. 
mutated genes become defective and unable to code appropriately, instead, they code an entirely different protein, which is faulty and causes potential disturbances in the human body, resulting in a disease or disorder. If these mutated genes are transferred from parents to offspring, they result in a genetic disorder. Ichthyosis vulgaris is an autosomal inherited disorder. Ichthyosis vulgaris occurs due to mutations or changes in a specific gene. FLG gene is responsible for synthesizing a protein filaggrin, mutates and becomes defective. Filaggrin serves as a barrier for skin against allergens, stabilizes skin pH, and assists in shedding dead skin cells. It also plays a crucial role in retaining water or moisture content in the skin. Individuals with ichthyosis vulgaris have minimal to no filaggrin in their skin, resulting in dryness and thick scales on the skin. Symptoms of ichthyosis vulgaris Dry, rough, thick, and scaly skin, a condition termed xerosis, which gives an untidy look. Scales may be white, gray, or dark brown. Edges of scales on the skin become curly, giving an ugly appearance, especially on the face and hands. Less perspiration causes overheating of the body. Associated condition like atopic dermatitis or eczema is more frequent in people who are suffering from ichthyosis vulgaris. The risk of asthma, food allergies, and rhinitis is also increased. Hyperlinearity that is, defined lines on palms and sols. Caretosis pilaris is the appearance of itchy, red, and inflamed small bumps, most probably on the face, thighs, waist and buttocks. Diagnosis. Ichthyosis vulgaris is diagnosed by observing the patient's physical appearance and condition and asking for personal and family history. Besides that, skin biopsy and skin tissue testing are effective diagnostic methods. Treatment. Unfortunately, this condition has no cure, as it is inherited. However, other remedies help alleviate the intense symptoms. Moisturizing the skin using certain emollients and topical retinoids like tretinoin can alleviate skin dryness. Using moisturizers can retain the water content in the skin. Apart from emollients, alpha-hydroxy acids like lactic acid, glycolic, and pyruvic acid are also recommended for keeping skin moist and hydrated. If there is a massive buildup of scales, they can be removed by keratolytics like salicylic acids. Salicylic acid causes skin cells to break down in the uppermost skin layer, creating clear skin. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. And as always, stay curious and keep exploring.